So if y'all just like state your names and what you play. I am Matt and I play bass. Okay. Uh, Lee and I play guitar. Alright. Um, so of course, generic question, where do you all hail from? Uh, Sheffield, well, it's like the area of Sheffield in, in the UK, so like around the sea. I'm from a little town in London. Come from my Um, how'd you all come together to form Bring the Horizon? Um, Lee and Matt were going to, to the same college together. And they wanted to start a band, so um, <coughs> they just got together and uh, like, like Matt knew Ollie, and then like I met him at college, and then like we kind of formed the band with, like uh, a different basis, and then like we knew Matt from playing like he played in like bands around the area, so like, it seems like come together that we're after the journey. So, and, 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 <laughs> All right, cool. Um, what's it like to be signed at three different labels and three different continents? Um, it's, it's weird. You always want to like find the best label for your band and someone who's going to like um, expose you to as many people. So, I, like before, we were on Epitaph in the States. We were on the Eric. We, we, I don't think they really did a good job for us at all. Yeah. But since we signed to Epitaph, we've been like super happy. So it's like oh, okay. working out for us over here. Pretty cool. Alright, that's pretty sweet. Um, did y'all expect to ever make it this far? Uh, not like really. And everything? I don't, I don't, when we set out, we never had any um, ambitions as a band. We never we were like, oh, we wanted to play with this band, or we wanted to play this festival. We just did it because we enjoyed it. And we just... In fact, we used to like, go to shows and stuff, and like, we knew each other from that. And like, when we started, we just wanted to like, make a band that people would like, come in, like, we'd be playing instead of like, watching. And, like, so we just really wanted like music that people could like sing along to and like stand for or everything. So we were like playing like really small shows and then we just we never thought it like people would like it that much. Sure. I guess well when we started as well there weren't really many mainstream heavy bands either, so it's just like it, it wasn't like part of it. Like when you played this music you didn't think oh we might get bigger or yeah. whatever. We just just accepted you wouldn't because no one was really into it that yeah. much. But the people who yeah. especially in England as well it was like quite small. Or whatever, and then like it's just grown since then. Luckily, we were around at the same time, it exploded. So, who would you say inspired you all to do what you do? Um, I don't know, we, we, we just like take inspiration from everything, really. Like, we, we uh, like when we go to hardcore shows, we, we like, we just uh. We want to be on the on the stage, but we didn't really like want to be the person or whatever. We just wanted to be doing what they were doing. You know what I mean? And we don't. We never really idolized anyone, but we just wanted to be doing what they were doing. That's cool. So y'all didn't really seek out to pursue a, per, a pursue a music career. I just happened to have it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Kind of how it happened. <laughs> That's cool. Um, when performing, what do you say would be your favorite part? about being on stage? I don't know, you don't, you don't really think about it to be honest, you just kind of like get into the passion of it all and it kind of just blurs. Sometimes you can be on stage and you just think like really random thoughts like uh, what are you going to have for your dinner tomorrow and stuff, you know what I mean? It's really, it's yeah. like a weird phenomenon what goes on, you're like, you, you, you're like concentrating on playing but then your mind wanders as well. Yeah. We just play um, our fire as well because like Playing these shows, you've got like a barrier and like kids are a bit far away in like big venues. Whereas like in South by Southwest, there were like no barrier and kids were on stage and stuff again and like climbing up onto the ceiling and jumping <laughs> off and stuff. And we're, like yeah, we that got... sort of shows we started playing and like we always, I don't know, we always love playing them shows where it's like kids are like there in your face. So yeah. We like feed off them and then like they feed off us. I don't know. It's like weird. Like you get more into it, they get more into it. So it's good just. That's like one of the best bits when everyone's like singing along. Is there like something y'all do before y'all perform, like a ritual or just something y'all kind of um, go before on stage? We just get changed and <laughs> uh, we're, we like warm, warm up as well. Like play for probably, I try and pre play for about um, 30 minutes before we go on just so you get warmed up really. Like Matt has done it like warmed up like two hours before we play or whatever. I don't know, like we've never really had like a ritual like you get you get like Christian man with the frame stuff before they play and stuff, but we've always just been like chilled out and just been like 
sounds like. It tastes like <laughs> I don't know, it's not really like it. The making of a Chelsea Smile video, since I uh, saw that on your page and stuff like that, I noticed everybody was pretty intoxicated the whole time. Yeah. How was the whole making the video? Uh, it was pretty cool. It, it took a while to like originally set it up. Like um, We were waiting around for a while for it to ever start filming. And during that time, so we already like bought all the booze for it and stuff. <laughs> so people were just, like drinking and we hadn't started yet. And then, like, when we actually start, started filming, everyone was just wasted. Like, we, we were drunk as well. We were like, we were like, well, we have to sober up a little bit here because we need to film it. And, you know, like, yeah. Like, halfway through the day, like, the guy who was, like, filming came up to us and, like, can you slow down drinking? <laughs> I don't know, because we've been waiting around for hours and we were all drinking, and then we, like, realised we had to do something. <laughs> yeah, we were, like, in a studio on the outskirts of London, so there wasn't nothing to do either. So, so and we had, like, loads of food and everyone was just drinking, like, all the people in the video as well. Like, some of, some of them were, like, our friends, some of them were just, like, fans who just came down. Yeah. Like, the, the, the practice guys were there, and it was pretty, That's pretty cool. amazing. That's crazy. Um, so I guess, since y'all seem to drink a lot, what would be your uh, alcoholic beverage of choice? <laughs> uh, I like anything, but uh, I, like, I like Guinness and like Newcastle Brown. I like, know, uh, pretty much what we drink. Oh yeah. I guess. <laughs> well, quite, quite strong though, but we don't really have that out Um Would you consider yourselves as a party band? Uh, I think so. Like, I think that we, we just like kind of make music for that reason as well. We don't want anyone to like, we don't mean for people to like take you too seriously. I don't think yeah. we, we want to want to be that band that you stick on when you want to have a good time or whatever, rather yeah. than sit in your room crying. Or, <laughs> yeah, we try and make, I think that's what we try and make a show. Like, it's like more of like people have a good time rather than trying to be. Yeah, we we rather we, 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 yeah, we rather people came and, and just had like a night where they could like forget about whatever in their lives and just go crazy, crazy for an hour or two rather than uh, go go um, wanting to change their life or whatever. <laughs> we rather we rather they just had a good one night. message that you try to get across through your music. No, I just have a good time, really. <laughs> All right. yeah, do what you want. Yeah. And why the whole theme behind the new Suicide Season album and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All he like writes all the lyrics and she was like he like writes the songs for like song titles sort of thing and like we write music together and then he like writes lyrics that like I don't think any of us can write <laughs> so like he, he like chose like the theme because it like it meant a lot to him like what the album's about but it means a lot to us as well because it affected us a lot and everything that was on about and stuff. So like he chose by him and then like we like either agree with it or so, like meaning behind this album coming out, or this already out, I should say. We do, I mean, like, there's different songs about different stuff, but, like, the title, I think, is, like, it's about, like, suicide keys and people think it's about killing yourself and stuff, it's, like, yeah. more about, like, not killing stuff, like, getting over it, and it's more for us. It was, like, about uh, redemption, really, and, like, the, like, the coverage that became about an idea of, like, of, um, like the lyrics, it's like spilling your guts, and that's like what, what the yeah. CD cover like represents, it's just like getting everything off the desk. So it's um, just like a kind of album to get a fresh album. Yeah. yeah. So how was doing the whole photo shoots and stuff with all the fake blood? Well, and we, we weren't present though, we didn't, they were done in the States. But well, okay. Okay. In the album though, like it's basically it's all like Photoshop. Oh really? Like, Okay. It was just a photo of us and then they just did it all, so we, didn't oh, have, we only okay. had like one photo. Yeah, we I've got the real one there. Oh, okay. That's cool. And then, uh, like, it just got bow. Tricky, tricky people. <laughs> so y'all didn't have to deal with any of the mess? No, no. Um, no. That's the best part. <laughs> so, sometimes when we've been to photo shoot, it's like painful to get everywhere. Yeah. It's always sticky as well. Maybe in Sweden, I don't know. Or, so, like, in the studio recording, it's like, the coolest I know, but it's combined, so I just do the photos and just put them in my